In this video, we're going to be going through five easy tips to improve your sports betting and become more profitable. So let's just go ahead. Let's dive in. Let's get into it. So my first tip is just get more sports books, right? If you just use FanDuel, sign up for DraftKings. If you just use Bovada, sign up for Bet Online. And the main reason you want to do this is books have different prices or odds from one another, right? So sometimes DraftKings is offering the best odds on a play. Sometimes FanDuel is, right? And the difference between minus 110 odds and plus 110 odds, it may seem small, but over the course of the long run, it makes a massive difference. So I'll flip over to my screen. I'll actually kind of show you an example. So here's a simple example from the Odds Jam Positive EV tool, which is where I find most of my plays. Look at DeMar DeRozan over five and a half assists. On FanDuel, you're getting plus 155 odds, a lot of value. If you look at DraftKings, plus 120, 35 cents worse. So you can see FanDuel is a major outlier in the market compared to other sports books and offering a lot of value. Just like a day trader, just like a savvy investor, as a sharp sports better, you're looking for value. So I give this example a lot, but you can imagine if your unit size is 100 bucks, let's say you just trade wins and losses. Out of 100 bets, you go 50 wins and 50 losses. Here's your profit and loss if you're betting at minus 110. You're down money, 454 bucks and 55 cents. If you're betting at plus 100, your profit is flat. If you're betting at plus 110, your profit is $500. So over the course of just 100 bets, if you're betting frequently with an $100 unit size, you almost have an $1,000 swing in your profit for betting at minus 110 versus plus 110. So really finding value in the market like DeMar DeRozan over five and a half assists at plus 155 is how you make money. So this is from verified bet tracker Picket. I use a bet tracker. It's called Picket Sports. You sync your sports books. It shows you your profit and loss here, right? You can see. There's, you know, big ups and downs. No plays are guaranteed to win. You know, no locks, no BS like that. But you're going to see, right, these ROIs, they're not, you know, 150%. Getting a positive ROI sports betting, it really is about finding an edge in the market and finding value. Use more sports books and browse odds. Compare odds from book to book before you ever place a bet. If you're betting at plus 120, when there's another sports book offering you plus 155 in your location, you're getting ripped off. Right? If you're placing this bet on Caesars at plus 114, you're getting 41 cents worse than FanDuel's offering. Tip number two is follow proper bankroll management. Right, You don't want a disproportionate amount of money on any single play. So typically what I recommend to new sports bettors, it's really known as the industry standard for how better should be managing their bankroll is called the Kelly Criterion, right? So follow a Kelly calculator, the Kelly Criterion. This really is how you should be managing your bankroll as a sharp sports better. So let's get into tip number three now. Tip number three, I say it all the time, but you got to be tracking your bets. You need to be tracking your bets. When I first started sports betting, I was betting, you know, very small amounts of money, $5, $10, but I ruthlessly tracked my bets over months and months to make sure I was actually making money, right? To make sure I actually had an edge over the sports book. You'll talk to a lot of sports bettors who will be like, oh, I don't really know if last year I made money or I didn't make money. If you're betting every day, it's really hard to look back over the course of a year, right? And know if you made or lost money. So there's a bunch of different bet trackers out there. The one I use is from a company called Picket Sports. It's just a verified bet tracker. You sync your sports books and it shows you your profit and loss. It holds you accountable. You don't have to do anything manually. It automatically pulls all your bets from FanDuel, DraftKings, any other sports books you use. So I highly recommend pick it, but there's a bunch of other bet trackers out there. The most important thing is you're tracking your results over you know, a long-term horizon to make sure you actually have an edge, right? If you look back at the past year and you're down, let's say 2%, right? Your ROI was negative 2%. At least you know something has to change, right? Your strategy didn't work. Something has to change. Track your bets, track your bets, track your bets. Tip number four is don't chase losses right? The best sports bettors will have losing days, losing weeks. It really is about having a long-term focus and winning long-term, right? So you're going to go on losing streaks. You're gambling. You're going to have losing days. Don't chase your losses and start betting emotionally. Only place plays, right? When you have an edge, stick to what you know. Find plays with an edge to beat the books long-term and accept the fact that you're going to have losing days. You're going to have losing weeks. We all have them. Tip number five is take advantage and learn about sportsbook promos. These books are in ruthless competition with one another. 
So Caesars, DraftKings, FanDuel, they'll all offer promos on a daily, a weekly basis to try to keep you coming back, to try to get you hooked on their platform. Caesars Sportsbook wants you on Caesars. They don't want you on DraftKings. So a risk-free bet means if you place a bet and it loses, you get your money back. Right? Promos like this are absolute no-brainers that you should be taking advantage of. An easy way to grow your bankroll. And even if you have a bigger bankroll, it's an easy way, you know, to make extra money every single month. Take advantage of these promos.